Hi, hey, welcome to Crawbar, the best overseas cut in the UK. I'm Dom. And I'm Danny, and we're back this week with the Discord game with Guy from Double Sleeve MTG and our friend Fabio. Another great take. I'm up first playing the Master, it's a Soul Tide Food Chain deck. Going second is me on Rog Rack and Thrasios, a Teamer Polycracken deck. Going third is Fabio on Kemrith, a Five Color Good Stuff deck. And going fourth is Guy on Stella Lee, and is it Twiddlestorm deck? So let's get into the game. Ooh. Everyone ready? Yeah. Yep. yep. Pre games? Nope. Let's do go it. Damn go. Yeah. Let's go. Draw a land. Nope. Okay, that's fine. We'll play the only land in our hand, emerges on. Then we'll tap it for Mana Vault. I'll cast Lotus Petal, that's a colour. Tap for two, floor one. We'll crack the petal for blue and cast Rist Study. I'll exile Novish Spirit Guide and use my last colourless for Sylvan Library. Uh, yeah, if that resolves our pastor. Feigning weakness over there at the start of that turn. I know, right? <laughs> I'll play a Fiery Isla. Tap for one, blue. Lose life. Oh, I cast Mr. Remora. Can I draw? You certainly can. Thanks, bud. No land. That's fine. I'll pass the. Okay, draw. I'm gonna play the Zotti Usher. And I will pass. Draw. Play a Scalding Torn. And I will fetch for a Volcanic Island. And then I will pass turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'll lose one for the Mana Vault. Uh, and I'll draw two additional from the Sylvan Library. Uh, yeah, I'll take all those, because I want them and they're very good. It's either no lands or three lands. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that's no There's that's, definitely no lands. <laughs> no lands. I'll pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, trigger, prepare for fish. <laughs> and draw a card. Play an Arid Mesa. Crack it. Find Volcanic Island. Shuffle that in a second. Play this Mana Crypt, paying for the Ristic Study. No. Yep. Tap the Mana Crypt, use one of it for a Sol Ring and the other one to pay for Ristic Study. No. Yep. And if that all resolves, I will pass the turn. Okay. No. Really regretting my hand. Sam. Misty Rain Forest. I'm going to give a card to you both. Chromox. Danny, you draw first? Yeah, I've just got to finish shuffling. Oh. Draw. And I'll draw. It is OK, trigger and tomb. And I'm gonna fetch for a volcano and I'm gonna pass. I will play in Island, and then unfortunately, I will also have to feed y'all. Arcane Signet. Uh, uh, build card. I'll draw my card. I'll pass turn. Is it land? It is. Nice. All right. Just tempt all the false gods. I don't oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> So unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll take all those again. Why not? I'll play Rejuvenated Springs. Danny, how many cards do you got earned? Six. I'm going to tap the Rejuvenated Springs to cast Wild Growth on my Emergence Zone. Yeah. Uh I'm going to cast this Arcane Signet. Okay. Go for it. Uh, yeah, and if that resolves, I've got seven in hand. I'll just going to pass. Upkeep. Yep. Oh, First thing I'll do is I'll trigger this Mystic Remora and pay for this Mystic Remora. And then odds will be safe. There's a five, baby. Drop turn. I will shock in a stomping ground. Up two, I'll float one. I'll use one of it to pay for Rograk. Or two, using the other one to pay for Brasios. Paying for a Ristic study as well. I will move to discard if anyone, unless anyone wants to do something in my hands. No. I'll discard this Talisman of Creativity. And that's my turn. Okay, draw. March Flat is my land. Uh, how many cards do you have, Dom? Me? Seven. Yes. Seven. Seven. A mighty seven. Threat. Tundra. Hey. Man, is my. Resistance? Riggers. I think if I, I'm gonna give you a card to both. Draw. I'll draw. Yeah. Oh no, I fed the wrong land. Oh fuck. Yeah. But stupid mistake. Okay, cast one ring. Okay. And I will play for the re Yeah. Pretty good draw. Activate one ring if yep. this is okay. And I'm gonna pass. What's up? I'll keep draw. Cast Stella. You got it, Dom. Yeah. Fast turn. Oh crap. Uh lose one for the vault. Then I'll three. Oh shit, there it is. Yeah, we're just gonna go for it. Okay, and then we're gonna play it. It's a drop island. Oh my god. We'll tap for one. Mystic Remora. Very good. Yep, you got it. Mental mystic. Mystic. Show you a mental miss though. Ristic study. Ristic study. Yeah. Draw your card. Come on. Alright, that's fine. 
Yeah, we'll tap one and we'll cast a death right shaman. Yeah, I'll just move to my end step and discard. Okay, okay, I'm gonna discard. I'm gonna discard a survival of the fittest, brain freeze, and prayer's grasp. Oof. Okay. I'll pay for fish and odds is safe. Odds again. Bro. I'm gonna pass my turn, move to discard if that's okay with everyone. I will pitch a brain freeze, a windfall, and a dress down. Oh, so, same as Danny. May I go? Freeze. <laughs> Many feet. Odds is damage. It's a six. One ring trigger, I will uh, all priority and activate. Got two cards. Wait, 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 mm -hmm. wait, 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 wait. Uh, I'll respond to that. I'll tap and I'll floor green, I'll add black, and I'll cast ball masters. No, okay. So, ETB, I'm gonna shoot down the rock rack. Okay. And then you can draw your cards. Okay, draw. Okay, two triggers. Uh, let's shoot your face, Fabio. May I draw the turn? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Lady of Lands, Fetch, or a Savannah. There he is. Cast Genry's. Ristic Ristic Study. I will play. If Genry's okay, I'm gonna pass. Alrighty, one tap. Okay, draw. Uh, cast the Jessica's Will targeting Danny. I can't pay for Fish or Ristic. So, Danny, you draw. And I have a ball master trigger, so I'll shoot I'll shoot your commander guy. Okay. So a mass, and then I'm gonna draw off the wrist of study. Cool. Uh, I will make eight red, right? Yeah. And exile the top three. You gotta be kidding me. Wow, those are Oh that, my god. <laughs> that's really counter spell for. <laughs> I will spend four of my eight to cast a one ring, trigger Stella. I'll exile the top card of my library and trigger your stuff. I will pay for the Ristic. Gonna draw fish. Ball master trigger. Uh, I'll shoot Fabio in the face again. Cool. Uh, Stella cast trigger. That was my second spell. I get to exile the top card of my deck until my next turn. I may play that card. A uh, Seagate restoration. I will activate the ring first. Draw bow master trigger. Uh, Fabio. Play it untapped. Cast a mox diamond. Trigger trigger. trigger. This time I will pay for the fish. Okay. Uh, Mox Diamond, good. I will discard this island that I drew. Uh, then after that, I will pass turn. Tap. Uh, keep draw. Lose one. Top three. We'll just take the one. Shocking reading pool. Let's cast. That is Oracle. A tree on the stack. I'll tap for black. Cast the one in consultation. Trigger fish. Trigger fish. I'll respond. Okay. Make a blue, lose life. Cast a dispel, so I get the demonic consultation. Ristic study. Trigger Ristic. I will pay for Ristic. Block course. Okay. I'll respond, and I'll tap three, and I'll fierce guardianship the dispel. Okay. Yep. I'll respond. Power Blast. Target. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a uh, Bowmaster trigger on that draw. There is. Yeah, there is. Uh, there are two. Yeah, I'll shoot, um, I'll shoot Thrasios. For both? Yeah. Then I'll put Power Blast on the stack paper wrist this study. Fierce Guardianship. Yep, I'm out of stuff. Now we bad scry for three. Yeah, I want you. You're pretty good. Put all this on the bottom. Tap Death Right. We'll exile a land from... I, I think Fabio is scarier because of all the more colours. So I'm going to yeah. go with... Yep. Yeah, just one of your fetches. It doesn't really matter which one, Fabio. I'll make black and I will cast Blood Chief Ascension. Trigger Fish. Trigger Ball Masters. Kill Thrasios. I'm just gonna <laughs> swing at you with ball masters, Danny. Hit one. Sweet. I'll just pass turn. That's a lucky trigger. Fish will die. We got a mana crit. Odds is safe. We are odds. Play Misty. We'll crack Misty Rainforest. Tiger. Danny, on your on your last turn, did you pay with your fiery outlet for anything? Uh, yes. Yeah, so he paid for a blue and he took one damage. Right. Yeah. So no, you I think it was to cast a spell. Yeah. So you lost two life, right? So I should get a quest counter on Blue Chief Ascension. You've yeah, already got. Yeah. 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 So yeah. make a green. I'm gonna cast a Veil of Summer. Wrist <laughs> You got it. What's the negation? Wrist Uh, misspelled Can I wrist Yes. Yeah, that results. I'm gonna pay two and cast Rugrat. Ristic. You got it. Yeah, we bollocks this, I think. Let's make four. Hit alive. Cast Polymorph. Ristic. Target. Rug rack. You can draw. I will tend to cast a Vampiric Tutor in response. Okay, then I'll draw for Ristic. Yes. Uh, I know what I'm gonna get, and yeah, I'm passing on Polymorph. 
Yeah, I'd pass on polymorph. Pass on polymorph. That's right. We'll start revealing. There it is. Ooh, ooh. Tide Spot Tyrant. Makes green. And cast Autumn's Veil. I have a trigger. Rustic. You can put, you can draw. Uh, trigger will target the Mind Crypt. Oh, this has gone poorly. Yeah, I miscalculated. I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. Did you mean to put Rob back in the bin? No. I'm going to keep trigger all this damage. Well, and oh, hang on. I had a trigger on oh, that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'll get a counter. Yeah, 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 because I'm a pretty tutor, yes. Okay, so it's a five. I take three. One, two, three. One ring. Taking two. Activate the one ring. Trigger bomb. All three the road. Talking about all the tires, well then. Get rid. Colorless. Dark side. Oof. Rustic. I will play. Trigger. Then treasures. I will tap this. Cast a toxic X. I will play three life. Rustic study. I will play. I want activate canaries, target dog side, cast seaborn muse. Oh jeez, yeah. Stick study. I will play for the resix study. Play for crack a treasure, play for resix study, cast these mox diamond. You got it. Yep. I'm gonna pass my turn. Okay, on your end Great. step, trigger a blood chief ascension, three counters. Uh, untap with you. Untap, upkeep, I will lose one life. Uh, before my draw step, I will activate the ring to draw two. I will then draw for turn, play a Thundering Falls as my land for turn, and Surveil. I will bin it. Okay, trigger Blood Chief Ascension, and yeah, you lose two life, I get two life. Cast a Preordain. Ristic. You got it, bud. I will scry two and draw a card, put both of them on bottom, draw this card. Yep, and then when Preordain hits the bin, uh, you lose two life, I get yep. two life. I'll then cast a Lion's Eye Diamond. Ristic. Yeah, you got it, bud. Nice. Uh, in response to Ristic Study, I will activate my one ring. Four cards. And there's also yeah, a okay. skeleton trigger under your Rhystic study. So I'll draw, yep, and then you can do your trigger. Exile a Manamo. I will pay a blue to cast Cerulean Wisp, uh, targeting Stella, maintaining priority. I would like to activate Stella to target Cerulean Wisp. So you're doing that in response to the uh, Rhystic? No, I thought you already drew. He'll keep doing, no, not Cerulean, Cerulean Wisp. Wisp. Yeah, he'll keep doing it in response to Ristic. Oh, yes, I can just keep doing it. You'll you'll never yeah. get the draw. So, so you're doing it in response to the Ristic study, yeah, the, the activation of Stella. Yeah, yeah, holding yeah. priority in, in, yeah, yeah. in response, yeah. So I'll respond to the trigger and I'll okay. mind break trap the Wisps. All right, I would like to show you a fierce guardianship paying for Ristic. Ah, that's a shame. Get him dumb. Hey, get him with what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've got with nothing my, else. With my, with my force of negation, exiling a offer you can't refuse. Can I draw? So I get the Cerulean Wisps. You can, I can't pay for it. I'll, I'll target the Cerulean Wisps with this force or neg. Yeah, y'all got it. So force and neg goes oh. to the bin. Danny, you lose two life. I gain two life. Yep, I will lose two life off of Fierce. Well, then just... oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, guy. You targeted it with the copy as well. Oh, yeah, so there is still a copy on the stack. You got one copy. Yeah, so, yeah, it's just, it untaps still. There's just nothing to target afterwards. Draw a card. Yeah, on the right? second one. You draw a card? Yeah, you draw a card. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. you draw a card, yes. Thank you all for reminding me of that, because that got me into this. Cast a refocus. Uh -huh. uh, target, targeting Stella and maintain priority and do it again. Over the rest of the study, yeah. Over a six Ooh, uh, So I would like to. Wait, 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 wait. No, that's, you got a full. Good. Yeah, you got a full grip here, bud. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I have five cards, but yeah, full storm. Mystic study. Yeah, yeah in the, I will play. Uh, so the same thing will happen again. Uh, yes. So thank you. Uh, sorry. Uh, what are you? What are you targeting with your fluster? I will target the copy and the original. So the copy isn't on the stack yeah, yet. Yeah, it's only the spell. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. It's gonna be the same thing, oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so all seven target at the original. Uh, the there's the still untap. There's a Rhystic study on top of that yeah. because I'm not paying for it. So it'll off of the... Do you draw off refocus, yeah? Yes, I will, but it's after your Rhystic study. No, but the copy app is first. The copy app is first, then... The oh, yes, 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 yes. So uh, untap, draw. So draw. Yeah, and blood Chief trigger. Yep, Blood Chief. Yep, Blood Chief now. Uh, uh, and then he's oh, and on you as well. Chief. So you two lose two. Then yep. I'll draw for the Rhystic. Y'all yeah, stop me. Go ahead. What are you doing now? And activate Quendry to gain five life. Gain five life. Yep, go for it. And crack a treasure to gain more five. Yeah. Untap. Uh, upkeep. Draw. Lose one off Vault. And I'll do the self and library thing. Take out, you coward. Yeah. Oh. Let's do it. Play a Morphic Pool. Tap the Emergence Zone. And I'll float green, and I'll cast Soul Ring. Yep. I want respond, activate one ring. Okay. 
2 and a green. And I'll cast a value Eternal Scourge. And then... Uh, three, 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 it's good rat. That's a suspicious amount of mana you're tapping there, bud. Cast for chain. <laughs> mana drain. Like, this is a simple country mana drain. He wants more mana. Ristic study. I'm going to pay. Force of will. Uh, and we'll pitch this Talion and lose a life. Clapping swat. Ristic study. I will play with the last colorless floating. Uh, I'm going to cast an off you. Can't refuse. Uh, swords of power. The scourge. Yeah, so you sword my Eternal Scourge, yeah? Yes. Also, yes. Mystic on the swords, are you paying for it? it is. Uh, yes, I will pay, yeah. Uh, Scourge is exiled, I gain one, two. Trigger, I will lose two, one, two. Yep, and I gain two. Off Offer bro. gonna resolve. I gonna have more two treasures. And I'll gain two, you lose two? Yep, uh, and I want to activate Kenry to draw a card. Draw. Trigger, I gonna lose two. Uh, uh food chain on stack. Activate one more, why not? Did the... Force of Will, Pitching, Lavinia. <laughs> Risk it, study. Force, you pay your life, and Risk it on the Force. Need to pay one, and... Okay. I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna pay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, you lose two, I gain two. I'm gonna tap my Arcane Signet for a Dark Ritual. I have three black. I'll leave one black for it, and I'll cast Mesmeric Orb. I'll use the last black, and I'll... Cast reanimate. Let's get Ball Masters back out. Ball Masters lose two and ETB trigger. Uh, yeah, Fabio, let's let's shoot you. We'll swing at you with a whatever it is, 13, 13. I will block with offset. You lose two. One two, yep. Gain two. Yeah, pass. Okay, I will tap. So you both on tap. We'll and so yeah, trigger. what results first? Uh, One two three four five six seven. So you lose fourteen. I... yes. Go for it. Yeah, I'm gonna re uh, reanimate, target my dog side. Uh, dog side. Dog side, 13. 13, 1, 3. First, gain 5 life. I want activate one ring. Draw 6. Fuck, nothing great. Trigger ball master 6 times. How much mana have you got now? 14 treasures. You can make Kenrif too big. So I think it'll be correct to smash you. So I'll hit you for 6. Activate Kenrif one time, sorry. To draw, yeah? Yeah, draw. Okay, I will take seven, I think. Yeah. You may go, my friend. Oh, drop it at one blue and one floor colorless. I'm going to cast Imposter Mech. Wrist it study. Uh, I'll pay for it. Imposter yep. Mech. Everyone good? Yep. Yep. I'm going to make a copy of the Dockside Extortionist. Uh, ETB, would you like to stack your treasures? I don't know. Let me think. Uh, but <laughs> I yeah, I need I need to do that. Yeah, it's either responsible. <laughs> no, yeah, it's yeah, responsible. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Uh, let me activate Kenrys to gain five. Gain ten more. Yeah. So fortunately, yeah, and yeah, I will crack and let one treasure. I will crack. Yeah, for green. Simple country. Fifteen mana. I'm gonna overload a cyclonic rift. Wrist it study. Pay for the wrist study. You got it. We we love to see it. Everyone's picked the stuff up. I'm my crypt. Play an LED. Three. I'm gonna cast time twister. Why did you take eight? Because the treasures got the bin. It's cards. Yeah, but well, yeah, well, it's not a card. Treasures aren't cards. Is it cards? Is it, yeah, or do I have you'll be dead? I'll get my I'll get an eight of that back then. Cool. Twister. Play a scalding time. Yeah, I'll play a lot of spell. Crack for a red and cast gamble. You got it. Who wants to roll a die? I'll roll a die. One, five. 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 You hit deflect and swap. Got you. I'll crack this fetch. You got it. Oh, trap. Crack treasure. Four colors. Cast underworld breach. Yeah, I'll. That was a nice time twist. Exile, uh, back to negation. Yeah, you got it. Sweet. Uh, I'll just say go. And tap and draw. Okay, I will play Ancient Tomb. It's gonna be my land. Make it green to Dead Right Shaman. And tap this for Arcane Signets. And yep. I'm gonna pass my turn. And tap, draw. Uh, I'll play Manamo as my land for care. Jewel Lotus. Uh, cast a Wandering. Oh, uh, come on. Uh, I gain protection, then I would like to pay a blue, cast a Ponder. How about it? Uh, look at top three. Oh, did you? I will put them back, put them back into this order, and then draw a card. Six cards in hand, and I will pass turn. 
and to have keep draw. I'll play a Waterlord Grove as Lanfetone. I'll tap for three and cast Food Chain. Oh yep. my god. Yep. <laughs> I'll tap for three, lose a life, and I'll cast Eternal Scourge. I want to respond. Come on. Bozejo? Oh, what? Yeah. What? Get him. What? Get him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what? Yeah. what sorry. You, oh, sorry, what do you target with Besage? Remember, that's not a fan <laughs> target. <laughs> no, good chain. Whatever, man. Absolute signal. Let's get a line. Uh, oh, man. Devastating. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, this is. I'm going to get a Bayou. Uh, does my Eternal Scourge resolve now that it's useless? Yep. Sick. I'll tap for one and cast the Lighted Halfling. Look at him. Look how happy he is. He's delighted. He's overjoyed. <laughs> He's just as delighted as we are after we saw that beside you. God, yeah. Mm. Uh, I'll just cast a Jewel Lotus. Uh, yeah, that's all I got. Keep. We got me. Have you been hit oh, at all off your mana crypt? Just this one. Play Bloodstain, Maya. I'm going to cast Thrasios. Uh, go. God, Thrasios, what's up? Wait, there is any, there's any creatures on the graveyard? No, nothing. Only instant. Yeah. Oh, there, I have a food chain. Instant. I have an enchantment. Food chain. That's over here. That's in the bin. Okay, draw. Don't, don't know why that happened. Yes, Skyclave Apparition. Yeah, pass on that. Okay, yeah. ETV will target the one ring. Yeah, have that. Have a bit of that. All right. In response to the target, I will activate. Yep. Oh. I'm going to fetch for yep. underground C. Cast his image, target Thrasius. Yeah. And I will pass. Keep draw. Play an ancient tomb. So we go three red, a blue, and a one. Cast Stella again. I want to cast a Ragavan, trigger Stella. Exile top corner of my deck. It is a consider. This is a two, hour, two hours game, I think. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> We've all tried to end it at some point. <laughs> yeah, we've been trying. I would like to cast a personal tutor, a Twisted Fealty. Uh, that will go on top of my deck, and I will pass the turn. That's a upkeep draw. Oh, that's a terrible card to draw. Uh, let's tap Halfling for blue, tap for green, crack for black, cast the master. ETB, I'm going to get two rad counters. Tap, one, two, three, four, and I'll cast Culling Ritual. I mean, I might activate Thrasio, so. Oh, I'll put Swan Song into my hand. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, Swan Song. <laughs> Do you have any more responses to Culling Ritual on the stack? I, um, I'm going to cast Swan Song. Targeting. Culling Ritual. The, the, culling the only other spell on the stack. The yeah. Culling Ritual. Yeah. Okay. The only, the only legal target. The only legal target, I see. Okay. Uh, yeah? Yeah, fine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Game's never gonna end. Get a bird. I will just pass the turn. Shove it out. I for one was A okay with that going rip. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was gonna follow up you wouldn't be okay with. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> gonna cast intuition. I'll target you Dom. I might avail of some of though, Danny you sure? Like genuinely. Uh yeah, that's good that's a good thing actually. Yeah, I'll Probably I'll guy. target guy. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, let's go and get three cards. Uh, so you got Noxious Revival, Dramatic Reversal, Transmogrify. What's in your grave? Underworld Breach, Gamble, Time Twister, One Song, Swap. No, I ain't got Brain Freeze in my, in my bed. Oh, okay. Is it just the Dramatic Reversal here? I think so. That's the least scary, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the other one's just get him shit we don't want him to have. Yeah, yeah. Dramatic Reversal. And the Cast Ice Ground Scepter. Yeah. Well, yeah, he had to have it. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, activate well, Metrasius. Yeah, I was gonna Noxious for the breach or cast this or transmogrify one of the three yeah oof yeah. nope <laughs> and <laughs> no possible on that unfortunately no is it Revolver. zero mana very nice you got anything guy all I have is a fluster storm oh uh, no I don't touch mana he can, pay, he can still pay for it then I will tap and I'll crack my warlock grove's draw card got it buddy come on yeah. baby <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Just the card I needed. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Cool. Yeah, make uh, your infinite mana, bud. Uh, imprint your to the person. Um, I'm going to pay two to activate the scepter. What's that do? It will untap all my non land permanents, which are a mana crypt and a soul ring. Is that going to resolve? Two, and three. To it's three. Storm is three, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it untaps itself. Yeah, you can storm will go to four because it's been scepter, intuition, and that's it, right? 
two. And so Flush Storm would only be three, and he has three to pay for it. Yeah, he's got treasures. Well, he has indeed. eight mana. Lords. Yeah. Lords. I'll always yeah. have. I'll always have more now. Yeah, you'll yeah, definitely. Fl Flusher's not getting through that. I'm gonna draw until I hit a Noxious Revival effect. Get the Underworld Breach. Back. Draw it, and then brain freeze everyone. And so I've yep. Is that what, cool? What like uh, turn the earth or something? Uh, yeah, I've got turn the earth. Yeah. Because Noxious is here. I've still got Turn the Earth. I can shuffle it back in. I can also just keep Lightning Bolt in with Turn the Earth. So I can just... Yeah. I can no, I'm brain freeze you first. <laughs> doing it over and over yeah. again. <laughs> well, there it is. Here you go, man. I'll respond until I get my Fluster Storm. <laughs> and then I'll, we go. Fight, and I'll, keep, I'll keep Fluster Storm <laughs> in time until I win that fight. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> After miscounting by one mana earlier on, I'm really glad that I uh, won that. So there we go, Danny won the game with his team of deck. Asa revved us out, got a million mana, do his deck with Thrasios, and we're gonna have everyone in from there. He decided to brain freeze us all out because why not? And also I mentioned at the end he could have bolted us. So we wouldn't even get a turn. So uh, I think I was pretty happy with that. Yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, the early turns were all counter spells. <laughs> like all I was drawing, you saw me, I pitch a dress down because that was the least useful card in my hand. We'll just hold out until we get a chance to try and win the game. Obviously, we made a bit of a caca poo poo by playing the rug rack too early just so it can die. If I don't do that, probably win earlier. But I think that was the turn it. when you were sort of owning an R and yeah. yeah. If I don't play the rug rack, I can play it later to start the chain using that to bounce your Ristic. Then I cast the Autumn's Veil to start doing the thing with oh, the artifacts oh, and then I, yeah, yeah. I make enough mana with the soul ring because I had a soul ring and a vault to then be casting them, hard casting them and using that to bounce all your permanents. I can literally do a loop where I bounce everybody's permanents and I'm as good as one at that point. Yeah, can you work more, more colored? I had no colored mana, yeah. but I could put all their permanents back in their hand. But sometimes you get excited, you play Rograk, he's, he's a cool little boy. You know what I mean? I also know I have Polymorph Man, so I was like, oh, if I have them both on the battlefield, I hit the Rog Rack, I can make the infinite mana, Thrasios win the game. Hmm. The Rog Rack goes away, I can still Polymorph the Thrasios. And obviously the Thrasios goes away, and I'm like, oh no, what do I do? But if I'd have used my sense, if I'd have never cast the Rog Rack, we were fine. If you're in that situation, when you realize you've done something wrong, just stop. That's what I did, I was like, right, whatever, Tide Spells on the battlefield, it's probably gonna die, but whatever, just pass the turn before I give any more cards away. Like, mitigate the disaster. We've made that mistake before, just trying to push yeah. through and not work. And then, it. yeah, you end up with less cards in your hand and you give people more resources. Like, just, just give up on it. Yeah. You can end up winning the game by the end of it, which is what I did, so. Yeah, and know. that came from probably the the imposter mech creating a dock side into the side griff twister. Yeah, reanimating that dock side was one of the scariest moments because I was like, oh, I might lose my upkeep here. But then he said, when oh. Fabio did it. Yeah. yeah, and then he was like, oh yeah, go for your turn. And I was like, brilliant. <laughs> I've got this imposter mech here, which, you know, not the easiest thing to counter. No. You know, got that, made a lot of treasures, but I think everyone knew I only had like three cards in my hand. So people weren't super scared. They were like, all right, whatever. And I was like, side griff. And I was like, all right. Not too fussed about that because I didn't have a lot on my board. I just well, had a bunch of treasures. Right? I, was, I was upset. I mean, you were you know, all your stuff. I mean, you got to replay my ball, so yeah. there's that. Oh, right. but, well, I didn't because it got twisted away. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so, you know, you didn't know that. Well, I was upset because uh, I had the mesmeric orb and the. Mm. Oh yeah, you had a witch basically yeah. is what you had. So that would for you to play cool tool. Yeah, so if anyone tried to counter me, you could just be like, "We're just going yeah. to die." But this. it was mentioned, unfortunately, you did have to get it out, but. Guy was a bit upset that I did it, and I was like, oh, we're just gonna die. So I tried to win three times this game. You tried to win four times this game. Yeah. Like, the win attempts were going up, but high blue pod mixed with the team well, of all, all blue pod. Yeah, yeah, all blue pod mixed with players that know how to play the game. Hmm. You know, lots of cards being drawn, early Ristics, early Mystics, early Rings. I thought I was gonna get there with the Mesmeric Orb and Blood Chief thing. Uh, I thought I was going to get there with Killing Ritual, I thought I was going to get there with a food chain twice. <laughs> yeah, two food chains, a Thoracle, sorry, five win attempts. Food chain, food chain, Thoracle, Mezor, Blood Chiefs, and, uh, uh, and, and, and the Culling Ritual Lord, into yeah. Blood, Broodlord. Like, I was really suspicious of the deck. I only saw it because Ian did well in SCG Con. Mm -hmm. yeah. SCG Con. And I mean, we wanted to do Fallout Commanders, and I was like, oh, the Master looks decent. But to get the Sylvan Library out and the Rested Study out, although it bit me a bit because I was missing land drops, yeah. it was a really powerful start and drew a lot of cards off it. I, I, I yeah. think you trade that because you still put three cards in your hand for two turns, yeah. and you got the Rejuvenating Springs on the third turn. So, like, I'll take that deal every week. If you yeah. tell me I can't play a land on turn one, but I get six extra cards 
Yeah, I don't think they're going to take for the rest of the yeah, game, too. That's it. I'll, I'll take that deal. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got concerned about the life at one point, but I don't play with Blood Chief and it just gave me so yeah. much life as but well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, your life all did get a bit low. It was getting a bit risky. Yeah, like, I think that Kenrith should have should have been swinging it a bit more. Probably like the interaction at all the times. Yeah. Like, he stopped everyone from winning at least once. He drew a lot of cards trying to get I mean, he stopped you twice. He stopped yeah. Guy once, stopped me once. He interacted with everyone's board some way or another. He used a lot of spells. He could just never get to a point of putting a win on the board. Right. Don't get me wrong, Ring's super powerful. George Old cards, Italian, brilliant. George Old cards, Wrist is really brilliant. All these cards are great. We know they're good. But like, sometimes just knowing, seeing that window, they're not a substitute for seeing a window and taking it. Yeah. That's important. Like, if you see a window, like, he's used counter magic, he's used counter magic, he's used counter magic. It's not a guarantee. No. But nine times out of ten, if three people use counter magic, then they haven't got much more in their hands or it's not free and they're tapped out. Yeah. You're like... Boom, there's my ad nose. You probably win that game. It's become a game of card quality where everyone wants to shove everything you did that draws cards and gets value and gets mana and that sort of stuff. But I don't know. I think it's better to have Death a bit more aggressive. Just yeah. present win attempts off and off. I, 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 I like think that. so, yeah. yeah. I, like, I, that's one of my favourite ways of playing is just keep putting win attempts on the board to one sticks. The meta seems to feel to me like the Jund meta did all those years ago with the rock turned into the Jund deck where people found out what mid-range was and was like, oh, it's all good cards. Stella Lee, oh, I like that card. I think that's a lot of fun. I like that deck. It's pretty good. It's different than most Is It decks. Obviously, it's a control deck because it's Is It. It it's, has to be, yeah. It's where its wheelhouse is. But we said, I think we said it earlier off camera, is there's a card quality thing, mm. but Is It runs some questionable magic cards anyway. So yeah. all you've done is took those questionable magic cards out and put them with different ones in, but these ones also just go, your commander wins again. Yeah, well, that's it. It's, it's the, in two colours, it's not the worst to have no. some quote unquote bad cards. Like Eurocolor does, every Eurocolor is a bit different because it's barely affected by stacks. Yeah. But there's two colour decks out there that run bad cards because it works with the commander. And people are taking, even in the mid range meta, people are taking right for their decks, seems like. So not as scary as it once was. And oh, it's just a fun deck. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, it looks good. And uh, I mean, like, twiddle effects are just fun. I mean, <laughs> uh, they're base, they're a cantrip. Yeah. Which. A one mana draw card can sometimes just save you from losing the game. Yeah, the worst thing about them is they feed Rhystics and stuff. Yeah. But, but they replace themselves. With the that's it, they replace themselves. They're one mana, so a lot of the times you can probably pay for the Rhystic tax. And the thing is, once you put the one on, if you're doing the win, you don't pay Rhystic on any of those because they're copies. So, like, you can put the one on and, uh, and like, Guy should respond to the Rhystic, boom, put a copy on. You're never going to get that draw. Yeah. By the time you get that draw, it's too late. He's drawn his deck. I'm almost sad that I didn't get to see it win. I'm not sad because yeah. I won, but it would have been nice to see it do its thing, see yeah. how he finishes yeah. the game. I'm pretty sure I know how he finishes the game, but it would be nice to see him do it. It's just interesting to see, because it's a good game where a lot of decks showed what they can do. Mm -hmm. so for still lead to show up as a very new commander yeah. and show what he can do, it's really cool. The only one that's two colours in the uh, that was in that game, mm. it held its own. He got really unlucky on that desk as well. He just didn't get there. He was very unlucky. <laughs> uh, that, that deck looks like a lot of fun though. It's definitely one I'm going to build in the future, I think. If you think about getting into the tournament scene CDH, check out Chaos Tournaments. They run tournaments almost every week. They're super fun, really great. They've run tournaments for a while now and it's always great. They stay on top of people. Like they, they'll have no tolerance for cheating, but they're also very inclusive and they'll help you along if you're a new player. Super fun, like I say. I've entered a few now, and great time every time. Great way to spend your day, and you can win great prizes, go against good players, and it's just an overall good time. So get involved. So as usual, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, tell everyone about it, and watch those videos. We hope you enjoyed this one. We hope you enjoyed all the other ones. What's that? You haven't watched the other ones? Go and watch them. Head over to the show notes and you'll see our mock field links. Not just for me and Dom, but for the two other players as well. And you can go and check out the decks that they played today and the other decks. And obviously, you'll know that guys from Double Sleeve, so that'll link you to the decks that he's been playing on Double Sleeve as well. If you found a deck there you want to play or you've got your own pet deck and you're like, you know, this would be so much easier to a player group. Well, I'll tell you where you can find a player group is Discord. Most notably, our Discord. Move to Chromeback. You come and join us on Wednesday night, 7.30 to 8 o'clock UK time. We'll be getting on there to play a couple of games of Magic, CDH. Come and join us. And if you're just relaxing, you know, sometimes we sit on the sofa. We want to look at our social medias. But no one cares what grandma's doing. No one wants to see somebody's granddad's the 14th selfie where it's like a talk. What you do want to see is move to Chromeback. You want to see when our videos are coming out next. You want to see what silly TikToks Danny's doing? You want to see what silly videos he's putting on Instagram? Well, 
you'll see them all on Instagram and TikTok. I've moved to Chrome. Now, every two weeks, you're gonna get a new video. It's gonna tell you exactly when it's coming out. You're gonna get a little sneak preview of what decks are in the video. You see the thumbnail for anyone else does. Sometimes the music that I use on the TikTok is a little clue to what we're doing. Sometimes it's an homage to other things. One of the things you might see on the socials is soon, it'll be after this video is posted. So me and Don will have been to a in-person tournament uh, in Preston. My first one? First yeah, my first in-person in CDH tournament in Preston, uh, a game store called Harlequins. And if there's not a lot of pictures taken there, we're at least going to be talking about it. I'm probably going to do a post about it. I'm sure we're going to take some pictures. Yeah. Like, probably you, because your camera's better than mine. <laughs> take a few pictures. We're going to bang them up there. So, like, you're going to see how we do on that. I hope that you're going to get to take pictures of us on the podium. I'll never see you again with you soon. So, we'll see you then.